Eritreans aren't used to foreign journalists, who rarely obtain visas. So many of them don't like answering questions. Can we ask you a few questions for French television? Can we ask you a few questions? No. No? Eritrea has had the same president, Isaias Afwerki, since its independence 23 years ago. There is only one political party and no free press. But the information minister says the country is wrongly portrayed in the Western media. For a small country, we have a diplomatic representation in 28 countries. Uh, we have many ambassadors here. This whole idea of uh, a country that is uh, closed, uh, that is isolated or that willfully uh, represents uh, or, or pursues an, isol an isolationist policy is wrong. One floor below the minister's office is the newsroom of the country's only TV channel. We have independent information, but we don't have independent TV channel. We have only the government-owned Eri TV. The UN says 5,000 Eritreans flee the country every month. There is one main reason for this. How many years do you stay as a military? The military? How many years? <laughs> Unknown time. That's the problem. That's why many Eritreans go to another country for, for, uh, for Italy, somewhere. But in the capital's internet cafes, where the Wi-Fi is very slow, some young people say Eritreans should stop fleeing their country. It's better if all the Eritreans stay here and uh, uh, like do something for their country and develop it, stuff like that, instead of going somewhere and doing stuff. In recent months, the Eritrean authorities have opened their doors a little more to foreign journalists, especially Western ones. The Eritrean government says that calling it the North Korea of Africa is totally unjustified.